In this screencast, I will demonstrate how you can easily build tables. Let's go to the main content area, double click, and bring up the editor. I'm going to insert a table here. To do that, I'll, ins I'll click on the Insert a New Table button. The Insert Table dialog comes up, and I'm going to modify some of the settings. First of all, I want three columns and four rows. I'm going to set the cell spacing, the space between cells in the table, to zero, and the border to zero. I'm going to set the alignment to center. I'm going to center in it, center the table in my main content area, and then I'm going to set the width to 70 percent of the main content area. And I'll insert the table. Okay, so we can see that the Cells are laid out, and basically the table's there, and now it's time to enter some data. So I'll just enter some simple data. And let's set a background color. Let's set it to Cadet Blue. Apply. Update. And let's save and see what our page looks like now. And there you see, it's a table, it's very basic, it's uh, not terribly exciting. So let's see what we can do to dress it up. Double click to re-enter the editor. And first thing I'm going to do is show you how to uh, make changes row by row. I think what I want to do here is add some color uh, to the alternating rows. So let's click on the table row properties and I'm going to go to the advanced menu and select background color and I'm going to select a darker blue and then I'm going to update all the even rows in the table so I don't have to do this row by row so you can see that's quickly done uh, so let's save and see what that looks like Now you can see that the rows are set off from each other and it's a little bit easier to read, but I think we can do more. So let's go in. I'm going to show you how to use the Sale Properties Editor to uh, do even more work on this table. So let's click on the Table Sale Properties button and we're going to go in and center, select center for the alignment, and we're going to set the width to be 33 percent and we're going to update all the sale cells in the table so again there you go now we've got the the data nicely centered and all the the table cells will be the same width but I want to set off the header row so let's go in and make a change there so I go in and click on the table cells property again and this time I'm going to select from class I'm going to select inset white box this is a cell style that will dress up that cell and I'm going to make the change to all the cells in the current row that I've selected let's update now you won't see it here but let's save and see what our page looks like now and there you see the the table cell pro, uh, styles have been applied to the header row and then we've got alternating colors for our other rows and our data is nicely set off so this is just a intro to what you can do with the table properties and table styles it's a very powerful set of tools